Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Wait. Moria. My descendant, Belkir, is caught by Zacris' snare and unable to continue on to Lastendel. I hope one day he'll be free. Ah, Dragonborn. It is my honor to welcome you to Lastendel, home of those deemed as worthy among us. All right, can you tell me about the warrior's trial? Of course. Down in our basement is an arena where we often test ourselves. Our trial for you is that you enter this arena and fight to the death until victorious. There will be no leaving the arena until you prevail. Head down into the basement, and when you are ready, enter the arena. I will make my way down now. I'm looking forward to seeing this, Dragonborn. I'm sure you are. All right, did I choose the toughest uh, trial? I'm hoping it's not going to be as difficult as they seem to make it out to be. These fires are different. Holy in nature. <coughs> All right, Hall of the Champions, according to the sign. Take your ease. Let troubles fade. A cup dragon ball. Seek ye food or glory. song unending. <laughs> Fighting, drinking, fellowship, and boasting. Find welcome here. Fate and drives you, your but you soul. follow your own path. Choose right. wisely. Thank you. To wander into evil. And trade the tales of our time on Mondays. Reliving the glory of our remembered deeds. Yeah? A cup I'll gladly race in company with you. All right, thank you all. A cup, Dragon Ball. For death and glory. This doesn't look good. All right, here's the basement. I suppose I'm as ready as I'm going to be. That is. Well, this looks like this is going to be fun. All right, let me prepare myself. As I have no idea what I'm up against, I'll go with a shield and mace. All for the sake of a rusty key that they'll use once, and never again. Hmm. Will the Dragonborn survive the challenge, or will their blood splatter the floor of our grand arena? So sit back, relax, have a few drinks, place some bets, whilst we watch this epic display. Yeah! Transparency is First, starting to the come. Dragonborn back. will face off against claws and teeth. Strength and speed against our very own bears. Bears. Spectral bears. <laughs> that I can hardly see. Just getting started. Round one is over. 
But will the Dragonborn continue to survive? <laughs> and now, the next round is about to begin. I hope we don't have any followers of her scene in the audience. Because her scene. things are about to get wild. As this the is Dragonborn the werewolves. faces off against the pack. Werewolves. Yes. Display. It just looks like the Dragon Board might just survive this yet. For those of you who bet against them that round, you have my sympathies. <laughs> well, I now, was Dragon lucky. Board, I could barely see the weapons, spectral images. Ready your spells and prepare to fight the bane of every novice adventurer's existence. Trolls. Trolls. you have for me now these folks were a nightmare to bring down here dust folks. everywhere the smell of death and decay oh and the occasional mutilation of whoever comes near i present our dragon priest and dragger You'll have to do better than that. And so, the dusty bone walkers fall. The dragonborn has done it. Give it up for the dragonborn, champion of the arena. Dragonborn, you may now leave the arena. And might I add, congratulations. Come and see me for the key. Ha! 
Voria. I have not seen a fight like that in an age. Hmm. I must admit, you surprised even me. You fight well. I crave a tale of it was a legendary battle, but it was, I guess, simplicity in itself for me. So, can I have the key? Of course, my friend. You've earned it. Might I add? After seeing the way you fight, I think Zacharis himself is in for a surprise. Here you are, my friend. Good luck with your other trials and facing Zacharis. Know that the champions believe in you. Well, that's good. Take to hear. your ease. Let troubles fade. All right, one trial completed. So, I think I forgot to mention, I thought I was coming here to face Zacharis, but it's actually to get these keys to get to learn the final word of power. Alright, we'll just go over here to the right. I'm not sure which challenge this is. Who are these people? Are these any people? Seek ye food or song Wait. unending? Yes. Okay, I don't think I know you. Do I know you? I... King. <laughs> Alright. No interaction there. Let me go inside. Dragonborn, it is an honor. I was wondering if you could spare a minute of your time for me. Alright, King. What is it? I have seen a Sonma by the name of Dela Whiteshade, who has begun his adventure in Skyrim. He is bringing honor to himself and all Sunma, and I ask that you go to him and pass on my blessing so that he may prosper in the future. I can do that. Thank you. From what I hear, he will be near Iverstead in one of the caves there. Very well. Hello. What are you thinking? Maybe I'm the Dragonborn, and I just don't know it yet. Good evening. Good evening. Ah, Dragonborn. Yes. You must have met my son, what? Lokan. Wait, where'd he go? He is a well, the last of the Dragonborn. Possibly may you find Dragonborn. Watch it, Dragonborn. Could you? Well, I'm sorry. I what came to mean? talk to you, and you vanished. Dragonborn? King. Sacris has cast his foul shadow across Such Midwood Isle for too long. I dream of the day he will be defeated by you, Dragonborn. Yes, well... That should happen soon, we hope. Apparently, you can tell me about the King's trial. Yes, Dragonborn, a King should be a representative of the best in all men. He should be strong, compassionate, honorable, and wise. We would like you to prove these values within yourself to earn our favor. Mm. I will come with you down into our basement, where you will face challenges that will test your worth in these values. Meet me down in the first room of the basement when you are ready. Goodbye, Dragonborn. I hope May I have those someday. qualities. A cup, Dragonborn, to death and glory. Hmm. As a follower of Stendar, my the edicts that I uphold are pretty absolute. It's possible that I may fail this trial. A king should know the land he is ruling, its people and its history. You must prove worthy of our customs by answering questions about Midwood Isle. You should be able to find the answer in books, all of which should be in this library. The first question is, which king ruled in the 100th year of the Fourth Era? I can tell you the answer lies in the book entitled, Kings of Midwood Isle, Version 5. of Midwood Isle version 5. And of course, it it wouldn't be obviously placed.
The only thing that would make this worse is if this was on some sort of a timer. Okay. Up. Oh. Seriously? <laughs> and I didn't see this before. Okay, which king ruled in the 100th year of the first, fourth era? Alright, Midwood Isle has had many rulers over its time. I am writing this to update the list of the many generations of royalty. The list comprises of the years that each generation of royalty reigned for, followed by the names. So, 100th year of the... Certain generations of royalty were never recorded, and so are unknown to us, and so are a result of some gaps in the timelines. So, 100th year, 4th era, I'm thinking it's this king... Silrin and Queen Nasmara? Which king ruled in the 100th year of the Fourth Era? Oh, no, it's not even a choice. Remember, a good deed never goes unrewarded. Oh, oh. So, as far as 4th era goes, okay, here's 4th era. Loken, then? If you have to wait your whole life for the recognition. Incorrect. Oh! Perhaps you should go and have another look. Okay. I'm sorry, but this does not make sense to me. Fourth era, there's only two choices. Well, three. Vamond? That's not right. Probably not going to get this king. Which king ruled in the 100th year of the Fourth Era? Correct. Oh, Von okay. ruled alongside Queen Catriel. Okay, the next question is... What famous event happened on Midwood Isle on the 122nd year of the Fourth Era? I can tell you the answer is within the book, The Sonmer's Near Extinction. is the book, so I have to wade through all these books again. Seems like I recall seeing that book somewhere. Oh, what's this about the delay of Zachris?
still nothing. Let's get about over here on this table. Ah, here we are. The Nords believed that they were the only ones affected by the great collapse of Winterhold. Although many may not think it, us Sanma also suffered during this terrible natural disaster. During the reign of King Silrin and Queen Nesmara, on the 122nd year of the Fourth Era, we were plagued with the most freezing winter to ever hit Midwood Isle. This cold spout happened a few months before the Great Collapse, and so many of our scholars believe the two to be linked in some way. The belief is that the freezing weather in Midwood Isle gradually brewed into the ferocious storms the further south it went, but the exact cause of this cold spout is unknown. Some, like the Nords, blame the Winterhold Mages for summoning the weather. Others blame the gods. All right, so this should give me my answer that it was a freezing winter. What famous event happened on Midwood Isle on the 122nd year of the Fourth Era? Uh, I'm correct. A freezing winter. Correct. The cold made it impossible to find food. Yet somehow, Isrido Fosbier managed it. Now the final question is... What year was Tamron Swiftwind born? The answer should be within a book called Legendary Minds of Midwood Isle. <laughs> oh, look at this. I'm actually getting a clue. Immediately. All right, Tamron Swift, Swift Wind. There are two who come to mind when one thinks about those of legendary minds amongst the Somner. This book was written to honor the memory of both those heroes, Tamron Sw Swiftwind and Orisis Strong Storm Song. We have a lot to be grateful of here in Midwood Isle. But much of our prosperity would be non-existent if not for the deeds of Tamron Swiftwind. Born in Florin during the 289th year of the Third Era, the reign of King Vamon and Queen Catriel, this young Sonmer was gifted with speechcraft, even more so than most of our race. All right, 289th year of the Third Era. What year was Tamron Swiftwind born? The 289th year of the Third Era. Correct. Tamron was known for his skill at trading and was responsible for setting up trade with Skyrim and High Rock. Congratulations, you've passed this room. You may move on to the next. I thought I was going to fail because I didn't get the first one right. I cannot say much about this room. Only ask, do what should be done and you will progress. Seriously? Solve the second room. Do what should be done to progress. Gold. Silver ore. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. Yes, I'll give you gold. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. And you there, gold. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. Congratulations on passing the second one. Sometimes we should take some time out of our normal activities to help others. Huh. All 
right? Well, being a king might not be so so difficult after all. I'm just curious as to what they would keep locked away. Amulet of Arche, Circlet of Conjuration. Yeah, they're not taking anything. They might uh, curse me or something. Uh-oh. A king must make tough decisions. This next room is instead made up of chambers, each designed to make you question your judgment. This man is a murderer. He killed his neighbor's child in cold blood. Mm. However, he confessed out of guilt, and it turns out he was being blackmailed by a local warlord who was threatening his own family with death. You decide the punishment. What will it be? Death? Imprisonment? Or freedom? Wow, that's it. Hmm. How, how is there a right answer to this? I'm sorry. I'm a vigilant of Stendar and you murdered. You deserve death. What? No! The death penalty. He was a murderer after all, but had he not, his family would have been slain. Is one life truly worth many being silenced? See, this is where I run into problems with your moral values. It's quite simple for me, black and white. This woman stole utterly everything from several people in her town. She left them in absolute poverty, unprepared, and facing starvation. However, she did so to stop her own, larger and younger family from suffering the same fate. You decide the punishment. What will it be? Death? Imprisonment? Or freedom? I'll say a short imprisonment. No one was killed. I understand. A light penalty may urge others to do as she did. To steal what people have worked for to make their own life easier. Is the punishment enough? Really, I'm sure. Any, any choice I make, you're going to have something critical to say about it. It's a good thing I'm not a king, then. This man attacked a guard in the street, a keeper of the peace, in plain view of everyone, and left him broken and bloody on the walkway. Yet the guard had been threatening to abuse his son and repossess his home. Hmm. He may have done so, but now will never take action. You decide the punishment. What will it be? Death? Imprisonment? Or freedom? Freedom for you, for protecting your son. I understand. So he did the right thing. Is publicly attacking someone who keeps the peace ever right, or will it inspire further lawlessness and assaults? It is important to remember that not everything is so black and white. Many actions <laughs> have reasons hidden to us, and our decisions may be difficult. The final room is ahead. You may enter. I have to disagree with you, King. Everything is black and white. Oh boy. Is this another puzzle? This is the final room. You will notice multiple graves and inscriptions in front. Your task is to read the inscriptions and decide which grave holds a king. Holds a king. This soul dedicated their life to fighting, and so they are buried with the most prized possession. This soul dedicated their life to the gods, and so they are buried with their most prized possession. This soul dedicated their life to helping others, and so has no possessions of their own to be buried with. I think this is a candidate. So many choices, why couldn't I just have the three? 
This soul dedicated their life to prosperity, and so they are buried with their most prized possession. This soul dedicated their life to knowledge, and so they are buried with their most prized possession. This soul dedicated their life to providing food, and so they are buried with their most prized possession. Alright, I'm gonna go with this uh, person that was buried with nothing, who dedicated their life to helping others. Because I think he mentioned that earlier when we first came down here. How do I choose? Which grave do you believe holds the king? It is the grave with nothing. Correct. A king who wants nothing more than to help his subjects will always work to ensure that they are the best king to their people as possible. But that does not mean the other traits are not important. They are still vital, but on their own they can be corrupted. Congratulations for passing our trials, Dragonborn. Take oh, our key I with our it. blessing. Know that we all wish you well and the best of luck against our Chris. Greetings, Dragonborn. I presume you are here to learn about the Scholar's Trial? Yes. What is it? It's simple. Go down into our basement and retrieve our key. Is that it? Yes. The simplest tests are often the most meaningful. Keep your wits about you and you'll do fine. My wits? Here's the key to unlock the basement. Good luck. Alright, I'm pretty suspicious about this. Keep my wits about me. This looks like the, uh, the puzzle. Yes. Huh. So I am going to need to use the whirlwind sprint. So you truly do have to become the dragonborn to complete this. Alright, what does this say? The first is superior to the others, but only in height. The second is hidden from the first, invisible, 
to those who do not look closely. The third sees neither the first nor the second whilst immersed in that which can be lethal, but also a lifesaver to all. So now that I see what what these are, let's go back here. What does this say? Superior to others, but only in height. So what are my choices? I'd say it would have to be an eagle. second is hidden from the first and visible to those who do not look closely. I'd say that's a snake. The third sees neither the, the first nor second whilst immersed in which can be lethal but also a lifesaver so that must be a whale or porpoise as some people have reported it to be. wits. I love it. Wow. That, that was sheer luck right there. Oh no, more? I am made of only silver, a decorative design, yet my purpose is simple. I hold what you cannot find me and place me on my pillar. Is that like a silver candlestick? Or a goblet? I guess it would be a goblet. Where do I put it? Here? Oh, I was right. I protect your most precious possession. Without it, you would be nothing. I am part of you and always will be. Find me and place me on my pillar. I protect the most pre your most precious possession. these choices too. Unbelievable. I have no idea. Pos protect my most precious possession. What what is that? My life? I would think it would be, like, a piece of armor. I am part of you and always will be. 
part of me. Next. A blacksmith tool is what I am. You can hold me in one hand, yet still feel my weight. Find me and place on my pillar. I think I saw a hammer somewhere. And this, this is where we get into the difficulty of all this, because there are two sides to this room. And what I thought I saw on one side, scroll of oak flesh, I wonder, could that be what protects me? I'm gonna, let me try that. I'm sorry, we're skipping. No, it isn't. All right, so let's look for the hammer. Here. All right, so there was that. And this. I, I'm long and narrow and held in your hands. Just blow across me to please all woodwind fans. Find me and place on my pillar. All right, I saw a flute right here. So why are these? These are all pretty simple, but what? I protect your most precious possession. What? What is that? Other than my life, isn't that? Is I don't know. Without it, I would be nothing. I am part of you and always will be. I can't imagine a panther pelt is not a part of me. Linen, fox pelt, firewood. I don't know, is firewood a part of me? To wear my bold dragon scales. Let's try those. No. Refined moonstone. What about this skull? That's a part of me. Does protect me. And here is the key and the portal. Is it? Well, you see, whilst alive, I dedicated my life to restoring a book known as the Opus of Magi. It contains powerful hidden knowledge, and I managed to restore the book completely. However, that was when Hermaeus Mora appeared. He was jealous that I was trying to share hidden knowledge and attempted to destroy the book. Fortunately, I was able to intervene, and so he was only able to scatter the pages. I gathered most of them, but there are still three missing. Three missing. Where are they? Would you look for them for me? Apocrypha. I can help you in terms of where to look. All right, sure. If it's not too difficult. Excellent. 
Now, I've tried to locate them, but unfortunately have only been able to see glimpses of where they might be. Where is the first page? Like the others, I only saw a glimpse of the location. Are you ready? I saw a beam of light amidst stone. To the south was water, as far as I could see. Hmm. All right, so apparently these are on Midwood Isle. So where is the second page? Like the others, I only saw a glimpse of the location. Are you ready? I saw water. Not an ocean, but a pool formed by rocks. And by the side, a mountainous peak that blotted out the sun. All right, and where is the third page? Like the others, I only saw a glimpse of the location. Are you ready? I saw an ancient circle of stones covered in an unnatural fog. To the south was a line of trees, but to the north was endless water. All right. Goodbye, Dragonborn. May we meet again someday. Yes, I'll see what I can do with this information. All right. A cup, Dragonborn, to death and glory. I think it's finally time that I learn the third and final word of power. All right, somewhere here should be the third and final word of power. All right, that was the key of kings. I'm unlocking it with the keys that I've gotten from the trials. Will you look at this? Is that a guard standing there at the word wall? as I will ever be. Good. You have a fine balance between confidence and caution, Dragonborn. Now is the time for you to learn the knowledge of the final word. Stand still, and I will grant you this knowledge one last time. Now I must go. 
It has been an honor meeting you, Dragonborn. <laughs> and know that I will be watching over your fight against Zacris. You are free to return here at any time using my shrine. These people may have tasks for you. Good luck, Dragonborn. May your thumb be sharp. Well, the honor was all mine, Urkeloth. So, trials are completed. It's time for me to return to Midwood Isle.